This is right, you know they on my feet I be on them apps while I'm at the store This pair is just for me These kids that throw my bills on for them Had to cut all three Swing the light to get these home record and let y'all see Your text is made, best keep me stretched Now y'all just get my page My mind's in cage and I'm enraged My beast gon' cost some sage Gotta get them ones and get them ducks They changing color ways Gotta look at where you probably not me Looking for them straights What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, and y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Texas, Texas. Man, Chicken in the Gang, Music Mo, Today on Deck. I'm gonna do a free run check down, baby. Nike Freeze. Right here, we have the Nike Free Net. Nike Free Fly Net. These are my newer ones. I had them for about maybe two months. Got these bad boys on sale for seventy nine dollars, size twelve. And these are my old ones that I had back in December that I got for a Christmas present. These Nike Free Runs they range from ninety nine dollars to one hundred and thirty five dollars. On your flexibility on these shoes, flexibility is fantastic on these shoes too. Now these are the engineered Free Runs. This is the engineered material right here. 16 minutes. So these are a little heavier than these. But based off flying it and previous flying this that I own. The, the engineer is more has, has more durability. The fly net, if you get hung up on a nail or a piece of wood or a, a tree branch, something when you're running on the trail or wherever you're running and it grabs it, it's gonna rip easy because the material is not as durable as the engineer. I got 21 minutes. I'm stair climbing. And I like the tree runs. See that sweat? Now. If you can see this crease right here, you can tell I've been doing some serious running on the street with these. These shoes, they don't look like it, but they are shot. If I wear these for a run in the morning or at night, I'll feel good running. But when I wake up later on or if I take a nap or later in the day, time goes by, my heels will be killing me. That's one good sign your shoes are worn all the way out. Don't get fooled by how the top looks. You gotta go by the support. If the shocks are busted on the car, but the car looks fine, the car is gonna run and ride terrible. Don't forget that. Bam. My new running shoes right now. Of course, I haven't been running on the trail with these. I just been running on the street, so. They got a little crease growing in them right now, but now I'm wearing them for what I bought them for, just to work out in. I wanted to break them in, so I, I wore them as casuals, so they're ready to run in. This is my second pair of Nike Free Runs. Five out of five, man, when it comes to shoes. You already know it's gonna be light. In my opinion, it's the lightest Nike that there is. The only other running shoes or athletic shoes that I can say come close to the mat that match these and performance-wise will have to be the Under Armour Micro G, the Optimums, or just regular Micro Gs. Those are the only shoes that I've worn that I've done longer than six miles in. Those shoes and these uh, Nike Free Runs. Those are the, these are the best two pairs of shoes that you can get. For the ex exception, Nike Free Runs are in my top five shoes that you want to wear to run. My top five. Now, in no particular order, there's no particular order, but they're in my top five. These are must. If you run on the street and you want to compete in 10Ks, half marathons, full marathons, ultra marathons, Nike Free Runs are in that top five. I guarantee you. 
comfort wise is always gonna be there durability is always gonna be there and you gonna like I said you are gonna know when these shoes are shot you can't always go by the top but by the bottom you'll know when they're out of there maybe I pull a soul swap on these because I love these shoes I love all my shoes the Nike free runs are the big brothers to the 3.0s, the 4.0s, and the 5.0s. These are your Cadillacs right here. You smooth, ride, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby. Shout out to the homegirl, Sab. She went to New Mexico, brought me back a souvenir. That's why I'm wearing New Mexico with Texas shorts. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like if you will. Subscribe if you trill. We out. Give me some breathing room and let them women see I'm sticking out everywhere like I'm in 3D Bumping out the frame, I'm shaking with no pains Texas flame, I got your dame looking at Texas main She be like who that is, I'm with that Russian click Universal speed, on top of bars bitch I'm still swagalicious I will live and die with the Nike Free Runs, man. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to skip over these. Whether you like how they look or not, I don't care what everybody says about Boost. I tried on some, I haven't tried on the Ultra Boost, but I tried on the, the NMDs. The NMDs do not have the comfort level of one of these. Now, I do own a regular pair of Boost. They're not Ultra Boost. They are comfortable. And I really haven't ran too much in them, but I'm telling you by from running on the street, not none of this treadmill nonsense. I'm talking about running actual competition races where I'm running against the clock and I'm training. I've ran in the rain in them. I've ran in that 90 degree humidity. Anything you can think of, Texas heat, ran in the morning time, at night. The Nike free runs, I guarantee you, are gonna be, they're in my, in my top three best running shoes of all time. Well, I'm gonna put this together with the other videos so y'all can 
Let me know what y'all think. I thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like if you will, subscribe if you trill. We out. You can't, the only thing with this flexibility, even though it's fantastic, it's not as much as the 4.0, but it's still a lot. These ones have more stability and more durability on the bottom than the 4.0s. Your lightness of the shoe, these ones are a little heavier than the 4.0s. Just a little bit. Remember, I have both shoes, so I know. They're just a little bit heavier. Um... Like I said, the reason why it's heavier is because the heel here is a lot thicker than the 4.0s. That's what makes it heavier. I'm a heel striker, so on the street, these ones right here are going to be better. I haven't ran in these, and I haven't, uh, I've walked in them. I walked all day in them. Uh, we, we went out of town, and I walked all day in the street, basically doing the tourist, uh, tourist attractions. But look at the bottom. You can tell I want them. I haven't ran in them, though. But uh, the width on these ones is better than the 4.0s. The 4.0s don't hurt your feet, but these ones, these ones don't hug it. You have more, you have more width. Just a bigger shoe overall. This is the Honda Accord. The 4.0 is the Honda Civic. Does that make sense? Uh, your sports that you want to use this with, of course you want to use this with running. This one right here, like I said, treadmill is great. Track is great. I haven't ran in the street, but I'm gonna have to tell you by the way this heel is, how thick it is. This is a street shoe. This shoe is meant to get torn up. I know people are like, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars to go tear shoes up. But you get what you pay for, that's the bottom line. So I'm gonna have to say these are gonna be good on the street. I don't know about the trail though, because there's not a lot of different uh it's not a lot of different grooves to allow rocks to get in there, so you might twist your ankle real bad. So I wouldn't recommend these for the trail. Your overall usage, that's what they're called, they're free runs. Your overall usage is gonna be for running. You can lift weights in these, just like I said about the 4.0s. Uh, great squatting shoe because the shoe's flat as you can see. Flat as they come, like some chunks. You should be careful of dropping the weights again because there is absolutely no support on the top. None. If you drop a 25 plate or a 45 pound weight on these shoes, just like I said with the 4.0s, you're going to have some broken toes, possibly a broken foot. This shoe right here is another 5 out of 5. To me, this is a perfect shoe for what I do. If you do calisthenics, and not all about lifting weights and you run and stuff and jump ropes this shoe right here is perfect I mean to me you can't get any better than this it's absolutely love it it feels like you're walking on air even though they're not Air Jordans came with the box the other ones right here I'm just telling you right now when you buy your shoes make sure you look at both shoes a lot of times you buy the shoes and I have one of them in there covered up with the wrap on there. Just pull the other one out. It only takes five seconds to take it out and inspect it and look at it to make sure it's okay. It don't have no scuff marks. It hasn't been slashed by a knife trying to open the, the main box, etc., etc. Just look at it. Make sure the shoe leases are there. That's the only feedback I got. Overall, these shoes, like I said earlier, are five. Great buy. If you can find them cheaper than $99, you're getting a steal. I'm telling you that right now. Your best bet would be going Amazon. Or eBay or some of these other sales sites. If you go to the mall, you're going to pay over $100. I guarantee you that. Uh, thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like if you will. Subscribe if you trill. Check out my other shoe reviews. We out.